Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I have a huge, huge bit of piping. Look at that. And no, we're not going to get in it and roll down a hill. I actually have my extremely new and sick Extreme Canyon tricycle. What I want to do is put this wheel in it. blow up the tyre to lock it in place and have the most insane drift tricycle the world has ever seen. So let's cut a bit of this to start and see if we can wedge this deflated tyre into that bit of plastic. Let's hope that this cuts through quite easily. So my plan is to try and squeeze that in there. As you can see, it's going to be quite tight because it's almost exactly the same size. I really actually don't think that's going to work annoyingly. Well that tyre didn't fit so I called up the guys at Culture to Cycles and they had a tyre that fit in perfectly. They're squeezing that in the other tube. I'm going to cut this one out. Boom, there we go. So we've got the wheel fitted inside this plastic now with a little road bike tire pumped up so tight. I mean, if it blows up, it'll be so loud, but right now it looks like it's stuck in there. So we should be game on. Let's get the next one fitted and go shred. After quite a bit of faffing, we now have the wheel inside this plastic tubing. Thanks to Cultures to Cycles there for helping me do that. But is it actually gonna work? We need to get these put back on wheels are on does it roll yes it does but does it drift the question you're all asking yourselves we're about to find out it already feels like it's going to be the best day of my life oh <laughs> oh the canyon drift trike no 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 no, yes. We've moved to a different location where the floor is of a more slidey nature to get drifting on, proximity style. Oh yes, that's so dreams. <laughs> that's the best, and like, you can just wheelie back up, look. Oh, sorry mate. Look at this for wheeling. Uphill, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. That's the driftiest of drifty zones I've ever seen, look. That sort of wig whammy bit. Here we go, I've sort of learned if you lean back, you get more grip for speed. Oh, oh yes. Scoots guy, how you doing? Whoa! That's incredible. That's just next level fun. I don't think Scoots guy knew what was going on, but I did. I knew that fun was being had in all new manners of excitement. Oh, look, you can just stop. It's like manual training. Let's find some more driftable zones. We've just arrived at an OG spot. This is gonna be way too slippery, I think. But when you're on the search for drifts, you don't care how slippery it is. Oh my. Oh. What we have behind us is an ultimate proximity zone. It's quite busy, so the chances of survival are really minimal, but it's gonna be epic. Dropping. Oh, that's so good, then into here. Oh, my proximities. Right, 
Best get out of here then before we get told off. So you thought those drifts are cool. Wait till you see what happens when we strap that huge petrol power motor to my back and drift endlessly later on in the video though. Let's carry on right now. We've just turned up at a new location. There's a super steep hill here leading down to the beach. It might be a bit too steep. I don't have the front brake, but I'm going to send it anyway and we can get a little like proxo next to this like, oh my God, it could work as a slow-mo like brushing against there. But let me try it first, see if it works. And then pure excitement. Here we go, big driftage. Let's keep it. Oh. oh, it's not that bad actually. Yeah, I can hit that way quicker next time. Here we go, let's get the speed up. Oh, so close. That is sick. Whoa, down to the beach. Wow, what an ending. That is well good line. That is well cool with that like closeness to the bush there. Proper driftage. Just found ourselves a very long, not that steep, but perfect drift hill. Oh my God, it is flying. Yes. That is in creds, man. Insaniums. Well, that worked pretty well, but I'm sure the scariness, vibrations, and power of the petrol power motor on the back doing drift is going to feel way more exciting. Let's go and have a look at that. And now the bit you may or may not have been waiting for. We've come to an abandoned car park. Well, this end is because there's one parked down there to get out the drift tricycle and the huge petrol powered extractor fan look at that that's about to go on my back with the tricycle under my feet thus giving me power to go sideways for longer quite a lot of danger just to do one simple thing but that's what we love. I'm going to need a full face helmet because someone said they do have a tendency of exploding and bits of like propeller going flying, which I don't want to happen. Full face is on. I am ready. Let's just check the positioning of this. So I'm going to have to lift that seat up then. All right. Start me up then, Lou. No. Well, well, don't pull it from there. What are you doing? You can chop your arm off. Yes! Um, that is so terrifying, but it works. <laughs> that is so so sketchy hopefully we've got enough time so what i want to do i know it's going to be better if we make two new fresh wheels because these have like where these were worn out anyway it's getting caught there so it's not the ideal drifter at the moment this is going to be amazing they were proper long drifts weren't they proper tokyo style <laughs> Right, you've seen how we fit them now. Let's fast forward a bit. So Louis, if you let down them tires just so we're ready to go, and we'll have two of these, and then we'll come back when we've started putting them back on. There we go. We've deep dished the new plastic tires. 
um, and they look well sick but they're we use like a different way of putting them on we use sun cream so hopefully it doesn't like just slide off instantly <laughs> the wheel come off oh my god i'm so lucky i didn't roll it then let me pump them tires up to like 200 or something just see what happens hopefully it locks in here we go second attempt no third attempt here we go yes it's a donut Sideways. Let me hold the brake and just do a skid one. ridiculous oh my god okay that needs a bit of planning for this really i tell you it would probably be better just a full block of plastic on the bottom that you can just melt through until it catches fire <sighs> okay so we need to go back to the drawing board them tires that we put on there they're not the best idea i feel like we need something else if anyone knows of any cool ways we can coat the wheels in plastic then we'd love to know about it wow what a fun ending to the video the canyon stitch 360 modified tricycle the stitch 1080 is absolutely insane with them plastic tires on there we need to find out a bit of a better way to get them to stick in position there and this plastic runs out much quicker than i thought and this piping here is like the most expensive stuff ever so i don't really think for the future of drift bike tricycling it's probably not going to be the best option for it but i'm sure we can find something else to do with that in the future and with that well that's just mind-blowing but it literally destroyed the tires <laughs> look how fast they went through <laughs> surprised it didn't blow up the actual tire underneath what a what a epic epic finale but on that bombshell of absolute fun excitement drift tricycles and petrol powered wings that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe see you in the next one <laughs>